This is a video showing how the replacement functionality in Fantasy Grounds Unity for the Manage Characters functionality from Fantasy Grounds Classic, how to actually use that. So here I have, I'm a player that I've logged into my GM's campaign. I'm controlling this PC called Fighter here. And so end of my session, I just disconnect from the GM. Now I go back to the launcher and just as a one-off, I need to create a campaign of the same rule set that was used for my for the GM's campaign. So I just create a Dungeons and Dragons 5e. I call it my 5e characters. And I mean, I've, I've got a free license, so network's disabled. Um, if you haven't just got a free license, you want to set it to LAN so that nobody's going to be connecting to you while you're actually in this. So my 5e characters create that new campaign and start loading it up. I'm on a test PC here, so this will take a while to actually load up. But this is exactly the same as for Fantasy Grounds Classic, going in to manage characters, selecting the 5e campaign, selecting 5e rule set, and pressing start. The only addition is that one off, you need to create your My Characters campaign, and that's it. So this is going to load up, and when I go to PCs, I won't see any here initially because there's been none created or none imported. But if I go to the import characters, I'm going to see every 5e character in every campaign or cache that's on this computer already. So this is telling me that this PC fighter was available in the 5e test campaign. That was the campaign that I joined. That's what my GM's campaign is named. And that's available to me because I controlled that character when I exited the GM's game. So all I do is you know, press the plus to add the character. And if I go back to the main screen, I now have that available within this campaign. That's being imported into my, my 5e characters campaign. So I can do editing here. I can, you know, maybe got wounded at the end of last game or something like that. You know, I can do any of those changes that I need to make. So just to distinguish it from previous, um, the original PC, I'm just going to call it fighter updated. Um, and that's it. So I've been in my, in my characters campaign, made the changes. And so all I need to do is exit from this, join my GM's campaign, and I'll be, have this new PC available to me to actually upload. So I go back to the start, just like usual. So I'm just going to join my 5e test campaign. So this is connecting over to the GM's. It's going to take a little while just to go through and load up all of the, the data again, just to join that campaign. So this time when the uh, manage characters window comes up, I'll get my original character called fighter. And then if I go to the, the import screen, I'll have fighter updated available to me to actually load up into this campaign. I'll actually probably also have fighter from the original campaign cache as well available to me because when you go to the import screen, you have everything that's available to you on that computer. So previous campaigns um, that you joined as a player, previous campaigns you've created yourself. So this was the original previous character that I had when I last joined the GM's game, but I've done some updates. So I want to import my character. And here I have kind of cached the original cache version and I have my 5e characters here, my fighter updated. So if I press a plus to there, that's going to actually add this, upload this data to the GM, and, I, and now I'm controlling that. So now I have full access to this PC that I originally um, just updated in my local, um, my characters campaign, which would be exactly the same as in Fantasy Grounds Classic as the uh, manage characters functionality. But as you can see from this, you have access to all of the PCs available in cached and other campaigns. So it's actually better functionality. It's quicker. If you wanted to export them as XML, you could do that as well from your My 5e Characters campaign. So same functionality, actually more functionality, just that slightly different process of one-off creating a My, My Characters campaign and going into that. So it, hopefully this helps people realize that Although Manage Characters has gone away in Fantasy Grounds Unity, the same functionality is there and it's actually been improved upon. So hope it's been of use. Thanks for watching.
This is an addendum to the original video showing exporting and importing XML. So I've logged into my 5e characters campaign. So this is what I use as a player to manage all of my characters. I have a PC already in here. You know, I can check it out and see what it actually is. If I wanted to export this to XML, I just go into the edit list and export character and I can type in and save this XML file. Just remember to save it to a relevant location and it's going to export that file as XML. If in future I want to import an XML file, I can go to import character, import character file, and it will give me, and I can go to the directories where I save my XML, and I can then load that character in, and I have another PC that's actually been brought in from the XML file. So I can export uh, XML and save it as an XML file on my local hard drive, or if I have some XML that I've either backed up or somebody sent me, I can go to the import character screen and then import character file from there as well. So I can have both export and import XML files as I need.